It's like, oh, let's check out this like super famous place in Portland. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> yeah? This is PB&J. <laughs> Watch, you just put it in your mouth. You can't put pizza in front of my face and inspire me not to eat it. to Pip's Original Donuts. Is that the way you say it? Pip's Original Donuts. Pip's Original Donuts. It's supposedly one of the hot spots, if not one of the best, arguably, in the city for donuts. They do, I guess, hot little mini donuts. Small ones. <laughs> Small ones. Um, I've been to Blue Star before. I've done Voodoo. And um, I gotta do Blue Star one more time to make sure that I get there early enough when they have fresh donuts. We're gonna go donut hopping. Yeah. Um, Basically, all there is in Portland is eat. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, mostly though. If you don't have a car, you can go hiking. So we just got the pips. Didn't even think to bring sunglasses in Portland. <laughs> but it's, really it's a nice surprise. Sunshine. What isn't a nice surprise? Line to get in. We've been doing this the whole trip. It's like, oh, let's check out this like super famous place in Portland. And then we show up and we can't get in because it yeah. takes like an hour. So because it's taking so long to get into Pips for donuts, I walked down the street after Katie found a place, Jim and Patty's. It's supposed to be some seriously good coffee. Let's find out. I've had in Portland so far. I actually personally like Stumptown. This bean has like a really good roasty flavor to it, very distinct, and doing four shots is nice because you can really taste it. Mine is so good. Look at, we're so close to getting in. The tips. Gotta go. Up. We got six donuts and we pretty much mixed up the flavors, one of each. Orders up for Bilo. Bilo. Ah, oh, there's so much heat emanating off them. Yeah, they really smell good. amazing. Okay, so this one's gonna be the candy, candy bacon, bacon maple, right? Yeah. That's the one I want to try the most. Let's see the inside. Mm. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> yeah? I gotta say. Is it worth it? It's worth it. It's like crunchy on the outside because it's deep fried, obviously, but but it has like the dough is so good. There's so many donut places that are like really basic donut, and they just put a grip of toppings to make up for it. The bacon on the top, such an awesome flavor with the sweetness. You taste the saltiness of the bacon. I'm really impressed. Louisiana shit. Murder on the beat. Something for y'all to cut up to, you know? So, we have orange olive oil, PB and J. And then we have. Can I help you? <laughs> awesome. Mexican hot chocolate. Oh. Wow. All right, here we go with the orange olive oil. Mmm. Good texture for sure. Really clean tasting. I mean, I guess based on their ingredients, it makes sense. What do you mean clean? Like it's not super fatty, like or overly oh, sugary. Oh, it tastes like they like made like a. Mm. It's really good quality though. This is PB and J. I'm pretty excited about this one. Oh wow. Oh no way! Wait, I want to try it too. I need a little bit more peanut butter. Oh shit. So this is the way I felt after coming to Blue Star the first time. You eat them and don't have that satisfaction that comes with like a bad for you donut. You actually feel like it's kind of healthy tasting. But for me, that just kind of defeats the purpose of a donut. Yeah. But I am really impressed with the quality, uh, how well they bake it. The um, consistency, the, the flavors uh, are all there. Is really nice. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't feel like it's like a dirty donut. Like, yeah. You kind of feel like 
you're, you're not really cheating. <laughs> it's kind of like if you were like a snob about donuts and a, an elitist. Like, I only eat blue stone. Mm. Oh, there's one. Alright, hey guys, story time. So, we're checking out at Blue Star. We get up, and I think it's a female, and then I realize it isn't a female. I'm not gonna be ultra PC, I'm just recanting. Recanting? That's the wrong word. Yeah. Uh, recalling a story? Recalling. She, he was very nice. Yeah, very nice. But very nice. I, but, but subconsciously, like when we walked away after. You know, we finished our purchase or whatever. I was like, thanks, man. I was like, we are familiar faces. Oh. <laughs> but I couldn't help it because it was like so clearly still more on that end and not fully there yet. So is this my fault? Not... I went like this. Oh, <laughs> your face was like. I'm not judging about anything. It's just, just how I remembered it happening. That's how it played out. It's kind of funny. That's it. That's it. Take care. In your eyes, there's a heavy blue. Want to love and want to lose. Sweet divine, a heavy truth. Water we want. Don't make me choose. I don't wanna feel the way that. So we are at Scotty's, about to check out. Well, like someone said the number two best pizza, but two I mean, pizza. maybe it's number one in my opinion. Pick the best seat in the house. Check this out. Midway. Yeah. I used to work for that company for seven years, and I was a producer at one point before I left. Pretty amazing job, I gotta say. What did you work on? What games? Mortal Kombat and um, Rampage. Like this video if you ever played Mortal Kombat. And your favorite character. I just told you that if you're gonna burn your mouth it's so hot, and you just, like, just watch it, you just put it in your mouth. You can't put pizza in front of my face and expect me not to eat it. I'm hanging on every word you say Just like the doves we love in two